The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock. Look, look at you, Paul. Paul from Engineering. You're dressed like it's Good summer. Morning. It's like 18 degrees right now. Socks and sandals. Well, yeah, we're inside now. What is with your neck? It's warm. What's with you? Got like red marks all over your neck, Paul. Oh yeah, I was. Uh, Carl, my roommate, and I were having some fun last night, uh, getting in the spirit of, you know, military and and Veterans Day coming up this weekend. You ever seen Full Metal Jacket? I don't know where you're going with this, but I already want to. I don't even know. And last night it was uh, Carl put his hand out and he told me to choke myself. <laughs> so I did. Oh wow! <laughs> he was Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we did that for like uh, with my hand, not your hand. <laughs> we did it at the top of every hour. <laughs> <laughs> you did the right. intro of Gunnery Sergeant Hartman on the hour. Yeah. Wow, I'm sure your neighbors love that. Yeah. So yeah. Paul, Paul from our engineering department comes in every you beat me with soap? Friday. At this time for the I Love You Challenge, that's where he calls up three businesses and tries to get them to say I love you at the end of the phone call. Granted, the beginning portion is very awkward, kind of like this whole conversation so far. Uh, Who have you called up today, Paul? Well, you know, in honor of uh, Veterans Day coming up this Monday, I I kind of did a military-themed phone calls for you. Hey. And the first one, uh, I called up a Bed Bath Beyond to inquire about a specific product. I don't know if I like this already. Well, out of the three, Jill, how many do you think he got? And I at the end of the call, out of the three, I think maybe. Oh gosh, sorry. One. One. I'm saying zero, Paul. Sorry, I have no faith zero. in you today. Did That's he get an zero. "I love you" on the first one? Let's find out. Bed Bath & Beyond, Mike speaking. Hi. Hello? Yes, I'm calling to see if you guys sell uh, smelling salts. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you mean bath salts? No, smelling salts are the kind that, like, if somebody is passed out or knocked out and, uh, and they put it to their nose and they, like, a, a, a boxer and they wake up. Right, yes. No, I understand. Um, no, we don't sell those here. I think you, you're you looking for something like a Walgreens or pharmacy, something like that. I work for a military-themed boxing organization called Lubes. Uh, L-U-B-E-S. Are you familiar with them? Uh, I, I'm not, no. Yeah, it stands for uh, Lieutenants Unconscious but Excited Still. <laughs> right. Um, I have to get back to work here. But I recommend Walgreens for you in terms of those smelling salts. Okay. Do you know any lieutenants? No, but thank you for your service. We here at Bed Bath and Beyond, and me personally, we appreciate oh, I'm, it. Oh, I'm not in the military. I just like being knocked out while wearing camouflage. Again, um, the smelling salts you're looking for, you'd want to go to Walgreens, some type of pharmacy. We don't have them here. I love you. Uh, thank you. Uh, we're gonna have to get going, sir. Um, have a great day. Bye. Well, I think I called that one right. No. I thought I was being very friendly. Uh, I don't know. Did he get an I love you on the next two phone calls? I'm calling a trophy store next to try to get a custom pageant sash. Sherman and Dingle in the morning. Paul from our engineering department comes in every Friday at this time for the I Love You Challenge. I made this uh, list for you. List? I know it's lengthy, but after watching Full Metal Jacket last night, this is all the things that you can get for $15. I, I, am I supposed to write? No, I'm not. Uh, no, no, thank you very much, Paul. Right. Paul comes in every Friday for the I Love You Challenge. Uh, he's trying to get I Love You's. I said he's going to get none. You, you gave him the benefit of the doubt out of the three, Jill. Yeah, maybe one. So uh, you didn't get one on the first one. The second one, you called up a, a trophy store? Yeah, it's uh, like a trophy award company, and I'm looking to get a custom, like a beauty pageant sash for a little uh, event. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Well, let's see if Paul got an I love you on the end of the second call. Award company. Hi. 
What can I do for you? I'm calling to see if you guys do, um, it's like those big ribbons, you know, that uh, that people use, like a Miss America. Oh, you're talking about a pageant sash, sir. Yeah, do you guys do custom pageant sashes? Yeah, we can we can do those. We can print on them uh, pretty much anything you want. You okay, know, we offer good. a wide variety of colors, anything you really need. I'm doing an event this weekend at an abandoned uh, Army-Navy surplus store. Uh, okay, so, so it's this weekend, so we're working with a pretty tight timeline here. Yeah, all I need is is one. I'm looking for one that says Mr. Nude G.I. Joe. Mr. I just want to make sure I'm hearing you correctly. Mr. Nude G.I. Joe? Yeah, but it's just from the waist below. These are veterans you're speaking about? No. Just fans of Snake Eyes and Cobra Commander. All right. Well, you know, whatever floats your boat, we can get it done. Okay. If you if you want, I can get you tickets. There's only going to be about 15 people, but I can get you in. I appreciate that, sir, but I've got uh, plans with my family this weekend. Oh, okay. It's it's actually, yeah. it's kind of funny. I mean, we it's a bunch of guys just getting... You know, liquored up and having a good old time, and I'm the judge. <laughs> okay, well, I, I appreciate that. I like having a good time as much as the next guy, but that, uh, is there anything else I can do for you, sir? No, sir. I just uh, would like to tell you that I love you, though. Excuse me? When I talk to kind people, I always say I love you with hopes that they'll say it back. That's a real big thing to say, sir. Okay. You don't just throw that away around where I come from. Okay, what else? What do you throw around where you come from? Okay, thank you, sir. <laughs> and a thousand here, Paul. Ah! All right, third and final call. Struggling. All right, this one uh, was to an irritated pawn shop employee. Uh-oh. Well, let's find out how badly this goes. Let's see if you got an I love you on the end of the third and final call. Pawnbroker. Hi. Hello? Yeah, I was calling to see if you guys have bamboo. Bamboo? You might want to call Home Depot. This is a pawn shop. Yeah, I know. I'm just, uh, I've run out of options. I can't seem to find any bamboo. And this Vietnamese guy I met on the red line, him and I would like to make a POW prison cage. Okay, this is very weird. Like I said, you need to find a Home Depot because this is a pawn shop. All we want to do is make a video of him beating me like we're in the movie Missing in Action. Are you insane? No. Then go to Home Depot because this is a pawn shop. We do not have bamboo in whatever video beating. I don't know what you're doing, but this is crazy. I'm, I'm going to be Colonel Braddock. Okay, I can't help you. Again, this is a pawn shop. Why would we have bamboo? All right, well, I love you. Listen, baby, I love you too, but you need some serious help. No, I need bamboo. Okay, bye. Have a good day. Got the one. I can't believe you even got that one. <laughs> wow. I'll take it. Wow. Impressive, Paul. I was not expecting that. The Sherman and Tingle Show. Mornings on 97.1 FM, The Drive, Chicago's classic rock.